Hello, and welcome to All I Do Is Not Want to Be Keir Starmer Right Now. My name is Tom Elwes, and I'm joined today, as ever, by my co-host, Mr. Ali Woods. Hello, Tom. I think it's fitting. I think, do you know when... Oh, hello, listeners, as well. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're looking after yourselves. Yep. Um, I think the downfall for Mr. Starmer was when we compared our politics to Keir Starmer's. We were like, yeah. we're the sort of Keir Starmer's... <laughs> That's our sort of take with sort of centre left, and then I think it's got bad to worse since then. <laughs> his like his trajectory of his career has gone much like ours in this podcast, just just middling and and, yeah. and middling to poor. Didn't, didn't didn't start with optimism and then has got worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just average all the way. Yeah, uh, I, it's uh, you know I think no for me it was when he got thrown out of that pub. I think I think that was it as well for that he bloke in Bristol. Do you not see that video? The pub no. landlord threw him out and was like saying, you're not challenging the opposition enough. It was like a viral video. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, ain't, he ain't, bruv. When, is, uh, when are we going to let Marcus Rashford? That is my question. He's, uh, he's when the are you gonna lead, let Marcus leader Rashford? of the opposition. Um, yeah. Um, yes, yes. I mean, it, it feels like he's doing a better job right now. Yeah. Uh, how are you, Tom, I mean, outside of politics? Before we get into I, the meat of this week's news, how are you doing? I'm Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the dog drops tomorrow. I'm going up to Manchester today. Yeah, that's, that's what they call the it—a dog drop. That's what they. Yeah, a dog drop. Yeah, out of a, from yeah. a drone. No, of course yeah. not. No <laughs> dogs. No dogs are harmed. It injured. Oh man. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I've heard varying degrees of how to raise and rear your dog. I mean, everyone's got an opinion. Mm. Uh, I, had, I had a chat with someone yesterday who genuinely. <laughs> this will make you laugh. One of my mates sent their dog to dog Reiki and it apparently <laughs> cured him of his ailments. <laughs> yeah, mate, honestly, like a couple of sessions of dog Reiki and he's absolutely completely <laughs> changed. You know, his chakras are completely in line now. Uh, so, where do we begin with this? Right. So, your mate, mm -hmm. um, what was the problem with the dog? Do you know? So she had uh, a French bulldog, and they sent it to. But what was going uh, on? With, what was going on? With the uh, just a bit of a terror. It's like kept eating the walls and just generally being a. a just the walls, like, mate. I inherited this from my dad. Like yeah. fuck off. Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. My, my dad's not dead, by the way. That's why I, I just say inherit yeah. when he bought it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like, you know, he's obviously you know. still alive. Like you know what I mean? But like, yeah, I mean, sort of, yeah. it was sort of was an inheritance. Like it sort of advanced yeah. on that. You know, so yeah. <laughs> bit of a down payment <laughs> exactly um, <laughs> yeah so, it's what it gave me for being such a shit dad oh my god barely like hugging yeah. me after private school um <laughs> just like didn't get yes. Oxbridge. fucking dickhead like yeah. durham's almost as good uh, yeah. yeah yeah so no, i wish she um so she had this uh french bulldog uh absolute nightmare sent it off to dog boarding school for seven weeks came back still a shit house <laughs> to be honest Ah, uh, you should have words with the quality control of the doggy daycare boarding school thing, right? Because I sent her away for seven weeks, still shit. She said she couldn't do anything. She was like, oh my God, I've just got a broken dog. Sent it off to the dog Reiki specialist. Got its chakras in order. Apparently completely changed. Great so, to have the dog right. chakras in order. French bulldogs famously have their chakras all over the shop. Way off. Yeah. Way off. Um, so do you know what happens in dog Reiki? Dakey. Uh, or no, I, I imagine it, it, it sounded like a woman just pet the dog for half an hour. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Some people absolutely yeah. steal a living, don't they? What an absolute yeah. legend. I can't, I got to take my hat off to them. But if it works, it yeah. works. But you know what they yeah. say about like stand up comedy? Like a lot of it is. It's convincing the audience that you're funny. It's like, mm. it's like if you if you start trembling and start shaking, then they're gonna get nervous. They're not gonna think you're funny. So yeah. she has just in she's just practiced looking into these people's eyes like your friend and going, "I'm gonna do Reiki on your dog." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's yeah. gonna fix things. And they fought it. But and it has to be fair. It. it has. They didn't do enough Reiki at the boarding school. At the dog boarding school, the dog was like scrubbing the floors, like doing drills yeah. outside, you know, marching, reciting like doggy, little doggy manuscripts and stuff. Mantras, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. it just did fuck all, mate. It just did. It was like, um, it was like, what's that Kubrick film about Vietnam? Uh, that yeah, 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 yeah. Like um, that. yeah um, uh, metal, metal, metal jacket. jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full metal yeah. jacket, full doggy jacket. 
Um, yeah. But now the Reiki thing, well, that's good. Do you feel, are you worried that you're going to have to get the Reiki instructor to sort things out with your... Well, let, let me tell you, if my dog is a terror, which I'm almost certain it will be. Why are you uh, certain? Why are you certain old mate will be like that? I just know my luck and I'm just going to get, I'm just going to get that, <laughs> that broken dog. Everyone's like, oh, cockapoos are so nice and so friendly. I just know. I'm going to get some like demented demon child dog <laughs> that's going like, to bark at its own tail yeah. and just be super difficult to okay. eat its own poo. Mate, so annoying. I'm going to have to actually like fucking do stuff. It's like terrible. <laughs> well, the thing is also like it's quite, it's quite, a, with me and my girlfriend, it's quite a difficult because I, I, I'll be quite hard. Like my dad's always been pretty hard with dogs and, and like, his... you know, just like, yeah, and his kids, you know. Just, to be honest, that dog gets, you know, what it's like for Christmas this year. Yeah, it got a Fitbit this year. I got a fucking t shirt. Like, it's Sorry, unbelievable. The dog got a Fitbit. Yeah, a dog Fitbit. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, my dad loves the dog. He got a 120 pound Oral B electric toothbrush as well. I, I, again, the got dog. a t shirt. Yeah, How for the often dog. Yeah. Do you brush the teeth? Every the week. Dog? Brushes the dog every week. Yeah, every week. <laughs> it's premium dog, mate. Premium. So. You know, in the in the wow. pecking order, I, I'm sort of like maybe after my sister, yeah. but and and dog, I would have thought I come about that. Like, yeah, that's, and you got what did you get? Like a free, like a voucher for career advice or something like that. Like a free... yeah, I just sort of uh, Tom, we've actually sorted you out. This is like wicked interview instructor. She's like really good at like doing like interviews yeah. and like yeah. we'll really teach you how to get like a real job. Um, yeah, we've got so... you this uh, twelve week crash course to be a paralegal. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. What you always wanted. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, okay, well, that's good. That's good for the dog. Man, 120 kids. What's the Fitbit do, though? Just track the steps of the dog. So the, the dog, because he lives normally in the, in, in, uh, the countryside, like, that dog can run, like, nine miles a day. And he, like, yeah, tracks the stats of the dog, how much exercise he's doing to sleep, <laughs> how much he's getting enough dog sleep. I don't know. Like, it's a premium dog. you got to... <laughs> <laughs> okay sure sure are you gonna get a fitbit yeah. for your dog no god no, 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 okay. no. My, my dog's just gonna be look i want him to be like a chilled good dog i but i just have a just like his just dad want... just like his dad yeah. mate. just like just a chill, pretty chill bloke just like you know? chill like cool guy who sort of gets it yeah. you know sort of like uh, yeah like i didn't grow up around you guys but i sort of know what it's like yeah <laughs> you know it's it's vibe you know just like hang yeah, out yeah. Uh, sort of like you know, just like we'll just like chill out sip a couple of you know brewskis in the park just whatever yeah, mate just know? not even a big deal ended up having like six or seven i was pretty waved by the end to be honest but it was yeah. like a good laugh like. yeah like, like if there's a party like he'll probably just like come hang out like yeah. that's what i think yeah, like, yeah. You know, like party. that's what no, you want he's, he's, peter do not get on me there'll be zero partying around the dog i'm gonna be very safe and and good with him um well, because, yeah, you don't have any parties, otherwise I would have been invited, clearly. Uh, yeah, that is, uh... clearly, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but as, long as, as long as I've known you, Tom, you've never had a party. So, I mean, yeah. what a loser. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> um, so, so, but is your girlfriend, has your girlfriend had a dog before? Are they, is she prepared? Yeah, so she's had dogs. She's raised dogs and is a very dog person. Mm. Um, so that is that is why, you know, I'm, I'm sort of entrusting it with her. Um but yeah, I'm 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 nervous, but I, it will be it'll be he will be good once he's here and mm. give me a reason to go running. Mm. Um, right. Anyway, back to the series. Well, well before news. before we get to that news, I just say that Vauxhall Comedy Club is coming back. All yes. going well. That the government will announce that the restrictions being eased as planned, which is looking likely that that's happening. Vauxhall Comedy will be back. That means. Edith Tuesdays at Vauxhall Comedy Club every Tuesday, starting on the 18th. Tuesday? Tuesday, starting on the 18th. You can get your tickets Tuesday. online at VauxhallComedyClub.com uh, and we'll probably put a link in the podcast description if we remember. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, you can come down and see me and Tom. One of us will always be hosting and the other one's normally there doing sort of a seven-minute set of the gold, the classics. The with Yeah, yeah with, with sort of one maybe new bit that is quickly abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you can come down and it's a great uh, fun bit. If you've never been to Vauxhall Comedy Club before as well, they've got a lot of big bar and lots of food uh, stalls and stuff like that. So uh, by all means, come down. But that is starting from the 18th and then every Tuesday from then on until the end of time because we will not yes. go. We refuse to. Ever. No. Wait, until the end exactly. of days, right. we will just be doing that. So don't worry yeah. about it, guys. Right, Tom, um, take it away with the politics. So, yeah, uh, it's not looking great for Starmer mm. in, in the local elections. I mean, Hartlepool is the first to fall, which has been a Labour seat since it was a seat <laughs> in, in like 1974 or something. Mm. Um, That's when they invented uh, Hartlepool. 
yeah, exactly. Uh, that has fallen to to uh, give it credit. A female, you know, any females in politics, that's a positive. But well, and you'll never get this, guys. It's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's not it's enough not... females in politics, so that's good. It's a good thing that there is a woman. But, but there's evil um, females as well. Tom. Yeah, it's there's, evil there's people. Yeah, so it's, 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 oh, you know, you know, Margaret you know, Thatcher's of the world. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool to have a non-evil female. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm. um, but yes, uh, so go on. So Hartlepool has has fallen. and has, has fallen. And it's looking like a lot of the local seats are going to go Tory, which is obviously not great for Starmer. Though he was obviously, Starmer was brought in to be the electable candidate and, the, <laughs> and to turn around the Labour Party, make it seem... Um, they were bidening it. That's what they were doing. They they went mm. for the Biden approach and they thought this this is our guy. Mm. Is is but it's obviously clearly not worked. Um and yeah, I don't. You would have thought. I would have thought Corona and the handling by the government would swing some people. Open but goal. Incorrect. In, incorrect. No, but it's because the well with that it's because the PR around Prime Minister Johnson, as I refer to him, and not Boris, my mate, whom Bojo. Bojo. Yeah, is that. Because it's it's the PR and it works well in that it's like oh he's doing the best he can he's doing the best he can with a difficult yeah. situation, yeah. and um, yeah it is uh, it is baffling to be honest like I mean but there's no strategy from Labour there's none it would be so good to have an opposition I don't know what the plan of Star was I feel like when all this shit was really kicking off of Corona he was there going that's not the time now's not the time yeah. to. To say this, there was stuff. a small period. There was a small period where it wasn't the time when it when it first we first went into lockdown. I do agree there was a very small period. However, there has been ample time now to I can destroy them and get get on them and and really have a go and start pointing out the fact that we were the worst in Europe by a long shot. You know mm. that's that's the shit you should have been pointing out. The 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 letting the bodies pile up. The you know all of this. There's so many fucking <laughs> let the shit bodies pile moves. high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many shit moves that you could have had a go at, but he just kept quiet. It was kind of weird. Um, it, was, it was really strange. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, you vote, you, it's a free country. You can vote for whoever you want. I'll be interested to see who wins between Count Binface and Lawrence Fox. That will be an interesting... Oh yeah, we've got to talk mayor. about... My mate now, Max Fosh, we we chat a bit, right? And he's, he's uh, I hope his whole campaign, he doesn't want to win at all. He's got no desire to win or whatever. He just wants to beat Lawrence Fox, which mm. to be honest, I'm in full support of. Fucking brilliant, mate. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, get on it. Um, I hope, well, you've been chatting to him about then. You've been chatting. You just, you, yeah, I, I yeah, gave him some. Uh, I hope you talk about me with this enthusiasm to other people. Well, I tried to. Yeah, I do actually. I tried to get, I tried to get him to come on the pod. I think he might after the election. But um, oh. yeah, he, uh, he was. I, I gave him some advice. He, he tried to do it, but he couldn't get a statue made in time. But I told him he should get make a statue of himself and then put it outside Lawrence Fox's house and then get angry when he takes it down. Because like, yeah. Lawrence Fox is so like, yeah, yeah. bro, the statues. That's funny. Um, that's funny. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, what else did he... I don't know. He was just like, just asking for me for stuff to troll Lawrence Fox with, basically. Um, right, uh, right, right, right. But yeah, uh, it'll be very interesting to see who wins there. I think that other YouTuber, I can't remember his name, he's going to do the best out of Olim, yeah. Olim, Ma- Olim, Ma- Olim yeah, something like or other. If yeah. he was white, I would have a good go of it because he's exactly, not. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to just, just, I'm gonna just tap out of there and yeah. take the yeah, one yeah. that loss. Um, yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But his first name Nico. I know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he seems yeah. to be doing fairly well. He's got like, six percent of the vote or something like that oh, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. was what was predicted which is I, very impressive yeah i mean if sadiq khan loses i'll be shocked i mean it'll be a real fuck up because the tories have given i don't even know the tory candidate they backed him not at all so no, i don't think yeah. they've um i think he's just some bloke i think he's probably someone's brother just like the rest yeah of the tory yeah, just, to be fair yeah. to be fair who's like who's a, yeah who's a uh, family who member who hasn't who got a position yeah. of power yet um and yeah. there's just like this one geezer who's like eating mud yeah. And they go, yeah. you fancy running for London Mayor? Because, you know, it's not going to win it. So you fancy it. And then they're probably like, oh my God, he might actually bloody win this thing. Can you believe it? Yeah, <laughs> give him a crack, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite worrying um, that it's, look, okay, you know, I don't want to ever be partisan politics. I'm not a huge, like, I'm not a Labour <laughs> voter, uh, uh, big, I will always vote Labour, Labour's always go whatever. But I'm a big fan of, you know, you need to have opposition. And I do hate, really detest this current version of the Tory government. I think is a, I think they're a bunch of crooks. And um, 
and there's just no one to vote for. <laughs> there's just no yeah, opposition. There's but, just people. Vote it's, Bosch, it's, it's, it's like it, whatever. Like. It's very worrying that that for me is that the Tories are just getting even stronger, even though they they. As my mate said, these people are supposed to be the evil but competent ones. And then in coronavirus and with the test and tracing app, it's shown that they're just so incompetent as well. But Massively so. they're also evil. So that was the point. That was the trade-off. It's like, yeah, they're evil. They don't give a shit about homeless people or people in, in need or, or immigrants or stuff like that. But they will make the you know uh, infrastructure of this country stronger for those inhabitants in it. But... Instead, they just let everyone die and, uh, and then the economy tanked as well. Um, but then you've just got no one slagging them off apart from Marcus Rashford. And uh, it's, really, it. it's really sad. I must say, I did like voting though. I do like voting. Do you like voting? Yeah. I've, yeah I, I love guess. going in there. It's so good. I fucking, I it's think I'm so love important. It. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, here I am. You know, in those... um in those films where you've got like a Julia Roberts or whatever sort of going up yeah. the steps, to, like I'm going to change this. I'm going to clean up this city. You know what I mean? I'm going to shake some, yeah. shake some yeah. suits. Uh, what they call it? The capital or the capital. Shake the whatever. trees. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel when I walk into my, 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 my labor safe seat. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. vote labor. I think, yeah, yeah. mate. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm Stick it to the man. Yeah. yeah. Also as well, because my, um, my constituency, is uh is very Muslim. I sort of walk in there as a white person, and then part my initial reaction is I'm so cool. Look at me, white guy. Not even bringing up that you know I'm in a queue with a woman in hijab in front of me, woman in hijab by me. I'm just I'm just cool new guy. And then I think oh no, this this is gentrification. This is what yeah. this is. I'm part of the problem. Um, I'm part of the actually problem. the issue. Yeah, I'm the issue. I'm there doing my Instagram yeah. story. Yo, just about to yeah. vote. I hope everyone's out oh there voting. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that and that is not what they want around me. Um, no, they yeah. actually despise that. And it's actually not you personally, but p- people who generally look like you uh, be the ones who will eventually <laughs> swing that bar to a Tory vote. Right? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> I'm moving down the road, but in ten in ten years' time, yeah, it will be. That's the worry. It's like that Chappelle bit. You know, when he said he knew he was going to win because when he voted for Obama, there were so many black people at the voting booth. Yeah, and then when yeah, he voted yeah. for, in the same place, he voted for Trump. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, he voted for Clinton, but he Trump, and it was just all dusty white people. Yeah, That's going to yeah. be me when <laughs> I'm there rocking up. I'm like, come on, ladies, where's all the, where's all my Islamic ladies? <laughs> It's just, it's just, oh God, there's L- loads of girls there. Like, oh, Ali, I've seen, I met you on Tinder, mate. Oh, hello, <laughs> good to see you. Oh. Not on Tinder, actually, whatever. But, um, but yeah, oh. probably they were, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh my God, that's the guy who does like the sketches and stuff. And they'll be secretly being like, yeah, mate, like, oh my God, like, so like liberal. But then when it gets to the voting booth, they're like, well, you know, the conservatives, just, they, they just know how to get things done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they just, <laughs> I just want you know, to play hard for my money, yeah, so I yeah. would like to keep it. I was yeah. talking to my dad, and like he said like the things that Labour are proposing would be really bad for his business. So I'm like, yeah. y- y- it's one of those, like, I know, like, I'm, I'm like completely like immigration, love it. Like all that sort of stuff. Like I yeah. love like meeting people from different cultures and things like that. But, yeah. but like when it comes to like who's like governing, I suppose, like you just sort of want a strong pair of hands. And I think- yeah. The incompetent, blumbering, eaten boys who have never had to work for anything in their life just all get it. You know, they get how it works. Understand, you know, better, yeah. you know, because they, they, once you've had a career in politics, you really know, you know, because yeah. they, 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 they know how it's going to work yeah. for a long time. Have you, and that's, that's the most important thing. Have yeah. you messaged your contact in Whitehall or are you not allowed to do that anymore? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not allowed to do that <laughs> <laughs> that might uh, that might tell some people how he got this contact yeah. at the first place. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, but uh, yeah, I would like I would like you know to um, it would be it would be fascinating to know what's going on. They're probably just overjoyed, overzealous at the moment. Absolutely love and life. Why just not? They're, they're, they're bloody. Uh, I'm, I'm in a I'm in a great time, and it's like it must be. You know, they've never had more of a stranglehold than than now. This is it. Yeah, I can't. I can't see it's going to yeah. take a long because that was the point, wasn't it? It was like, uh, you know, they'd had people had had enough of Labour for what was it, thirteen years, and so mm-hmm. they had a change. Cameron and then Ed Miliband just didn't seem to strike the right call with people, and then Corbyn didn't seem to strike the right call with people because he was too left wing, and then 
it was like, right, here's a guy. He's a sir. Sir Keir Starmer. Cool surname war as hero. well. Fucking war hero. He's yeah. a vet. This is what these fucking flag shaggers love. He's a veteran. Yeah. What war has Boris Johnson been on? Oh, the war on woke or something like that. This guy has done it. No, you look at his slick no. hair. He's not messy haired. You know, he looks like an eighties pop star. Yeah, like somebody. exactly. He wears suits and he's not in a Corbyn way where he looks like it's itching all over him. He wears them yeah. like he's actually comfortable in them. And he looks then, like he's never worn a corduroy suit in his exactly, life. Exactly. Okay? This That's, is the yeah. guy. And then it's been so shit. So bad. <laughs> Uh, it's just it's disheartening. I, I I don't know who do they go with next. Someone young and cool, I guess. I think I bring them together. Get Nico Olive um, to to yeah. To, yeah. to be the Labour leader, and then yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. Go with a YouTuber at this point. Roll the dice, guys. Yeah. Let's just go. Go maybe a celebrity. Maybe a celebrity could yes. be good. Hugh Grant. He's well. He's he's a bit lip. No, he's lip dead. Mm. Lip, massive lip yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, someone like Hugh Grant. Like it, honestly, it'd be worth it. Get a sort of Gary Lineker. Maybe he's. Mm. Yeah, Lineker, a left, or like, bit left leaning on Twitter. Yeah, so I want a sort of posh left leaning actor could probably do it. Who is well, well you want like you grow like Colin Firth. If Colin Firth did it, yeah. he'd go full King Speech and he could do it. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, you just need someone who can go up there and deliver the lines, yeah. the classic lines of like you know we need to get this country back on track, like all that yeah. sort of stuff that is just wishy washy nonsense that the Tories are so good at. And, you know, this is the time we come together as a country and vote to have our rights back and to have our, you know, all that sort of right wing energy. But for a left left leaning person, it would be amazing if Hugh Grant did stand and win and reenacted his role for love, actually, as actual prime minister. Full yeah, circle. That'd be, that'd be, <laughs> does art imitate life or life yeah, imitate yeah, art? Yeah. yeah. When Hugh yeah, Grant that, becomes prime minister. Partly maybe that's why people of, would vote for him because they'd get confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be sort of quite end of days style TV, but whatever. Yeah. Like we've come full circle. But yeah, guys, that's just the way it is. Right. Uh, moving on from politics, guys. Sad story. Uh, one hell of a divorce has gone through this week. Big time. You know? An update. Uh, Bill and Melinda. You know, I always thought they had an amazing foundation, you know, but it's just, it's falling apart, guys. It's falling apart. The foundations weren't so strong with that one. Um, no. Yeah, I think what's, what's quite funny. Uh, straight into the funny <laughs> is, yeah. is, yeah. is oh, how it's funny. but because it is sort of funny because they were together for a long time 27 years but mm -hmm. they're super rich people and they'll be all right and they're old so it doesn't really matter that much what's it some slightly odd things have come out in, oh, really? in the wake of it oh, is this more conspiracy well, for instance he did go he was allowed to go on holiday with his ex-girlfriend for one weekend every year Rogue, Which, man, yeah, Bill, you so saucy good. Bill. Yeah. Just yeah. getting his windows up, just getting an update yeah. with my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, yeah, well, legend. Yeah. What guy? Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. I I think what was funny was I saw some good memes about it. Um, um, Bill Gates on Tinder as well, and uh, yeah. where his bio was, I can give you a secret third dose. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, right? And then Amazing. also, um, uh. There was a pictures put side to side, and one of them was Bill Gates getting interviewed in the nineties, and it was like, I am so excited to see what amazing things people will do with the mm. internet in the future. Who knows what yeah. could happen? And then it's yeah. put next to a guy who's <laughs> well, yeah, guys who re who's retweeted that story of them breaking up, going, "I guess his dick was Microsoft." <laughs> Unlucky, so good. Um, but yeah, so good. they're the end. I mean, uh, when people talk to me about true love, they're always like Bill and Melinda. That's, that's yeah. the most romantic that's story. Always like the, that is always like the white, sort of educated nerd response to that as well. Like, what's true love? Like, Bill and Melinda. I've uh, seen actually the good work they do, yeah. the foundations. Yeah, you know? I guess so, I want to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Start a foundation yeah. with my wife. Um, yeah, but, I don't know well, yeah. but uh, yeah, but really, he was he was fucking having a go on his sex cup, you know. <laughs> Who else? The one knows what. What, what inserting his USB. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Terrible, terrible stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, what it will be interesting though is will he if he will marry again because he's super nerd but he's super rich so like there will be suitors there'll be a lot of suitors it'll be funny if he oh yeah if he does because he was again he was like yeah married for twenty seven years love my wife we've got foundation together mm -hmm. I'm a super successful 
guy, but I'm also a big philanthropist. But now if he goes full reversal and just like marries like Amber Heard or something like that, or just like yeah. a young yeah. or like Gen- absolute flames twenty four year yeah, old girl yeah, exactly. like, starts driving like some Rory and like just you know. He's a millionaire. Like, he's the, he's the third richest man in the world. He can do what he wants. Like, you know, what's funny as well is similar to what happened with Jeff Bezos' his wife was uh, that like Melinda divorces and then is now one of the richest people in the world. Like, that's how it works. Yeah. So she she will get you know I would have thought what twenty thirty bill she has, whatever she gets Windows XP. That's what she gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the full uh, Microsoft Melinda, package. Melinda, Melinda gets Melinda gets stitched up in the divorce. They're like, uh, yeah. So the bit of the company you'll be getting is Bing. So <laughs> yeah, got yeah, Bing got Bing. You got that's you got just Bing. a little writing at the bottom. What's this? Yeah, like? uh, you get Bing. <laughs> Not, nothing else. You get yeah. all the profits from Bing. Whatever, <laughs> whatever anyone's Bing's Bing. making. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it. That's what's going to slow Bill Gates down when he's looking for a new girlfriend. Is when he's doing it on Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> yeah, Meet to... new women. Meet <laughs> like, that's not common. Like, and it's sort of getting all these weird websites. Yeah. It's terrible. Did you say squash courts near me? Yeah. No, I yeah. didn't <laughs> say that. Um, yeah, well, good luck to the both of them, I'd say. Um, and then final news story, just breaking news that we've yeah. come up with. Um, well, not we've come up with, but we've that's come up. Uh, is that the under 40s will be offered other vaccines apart from the AstraZeneca one, which might blood clots your head? Um, yeah. Tom, have you have you got any? Uh, and we will say as well, this is obviously a pro vaccine podcast. The yeah. number of people getting these well, blood clots is so so know, so mate. minimal. Oh. Yeah, it used to be. Yeah, I used to be like yeah, it. Used to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, mate, I didn't fear it until exactly four months ago. But there we go. <laughs> yeah. um, there's Alistair Green thing where he does a character where he's like, um, maybe he's straight. Right, right. Okay. So so five G tower. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you yeah. what. 5G tower went up in October. Just a year later, my friend who lived there, there got pregnant. What does that say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that tell you? Yeah. That sort of thinking. But um, oh. Tom, you, you haven't got any vaccines yet, have you? No, 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 mate. No, no, no. I no, don't, no, don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, would you, we'll see, to be honest. Do you mean have they inserted the chip? Me. Have they inserted the chip, you mean? No, yeah, no, yeah. they haven't. Yeah. During the cool aid I don't think so. But you... uh, we'll, 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 we'll see. <laughs> yeah. How it pans out for everyone else, and then, and then maybe down the line. Yeah. You know. Oh, oh yeah, mate. Got my vaccine. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. Hundred percent. Both doses. Did them in one go. You know what I mean? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. Do you um, reckon they'll do like yeah. fake vaccine passports, like they do fake IDs? Yeah. Oh, like, people. hundred percent. People will be getting fake vaccine passports. There'll be some shyster selling you know any level of, of nonsense to get people to go on maybe that could be us maybe we could do aided vaccine passports as our branding as our logo yeah yeah, yeah. but well, they're, they're all fake some... but they're all fake <laughs> you just you just you're just waiting for some channel five show of like two girls being like yeah so this guy he promised us vaccine passports mm. so we could go our beef for it and we mm. booked the whole trip and then we got there and then they just weren't real, and like we weren't allowed to go yeah, on our trip. 100%. Like, devastated. I think, devastated. I think for me, I started clocking onto it when he said, yeah. "Get in the van," and then he <laughs> said, "And then yeah, I are, and then he passed I, me, and, he, and, and like my my name is Sophie, but on the passport it said Abdullah, and I was like, "Oh, I don't <laughs> yeah. really." <laughs> and he was like, "Tell him it's a nickname," and I I wasn't yeah. sure if that was going to work, but I said, "Yeah, fine," at the time because yeah. I thought it was alright. Um, yeah. It's weird because he said he gave me the vaccine, but it was like a it was a drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like a sort of green liquid. I think it was yeah. mouthwash looking back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a lot of that. Well, so yeah. yeah. Well that I mean as, as people for vaccine fraud, I'm sure there'll be someone out there who will already be starting some kind of Instagram account that looks legit that's selling you nonsense yeah, um yeah, to do yeah. with the vaccine. Yeah. But uh, no yeah. no yeah, well, better do the dog reiki than the <laughs> nonsense vaccine. Yeah. If there's dog reiki out there, yeah. yeah. Um there's get different I, I, a spiritual I, vaccine. Yeah, yeah, I love it because there's different levels to because that kind of shit is basically fraud. But like, there's different levels. It's like there'll be like obvious shyster guys selling fake passports with mm. dodgy names on it, whatever. Mm. But then there'll also be be equally people at the other end being like, "Yeah, you don't need a vaccine. You just come to me and I'll wave my hands over you." Become immune and, through vaccine chi. Yeah, the uh, the disease flows through you, yeah. so I can flow it out the other end. And it's like, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does anyone know what COVID nineteen is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No one. Negative vibes. 
That's what yeah. it is ultimately. <laughs> yeah. And you've yeah. just got to expunge the negativity, teach yeah. your body not to get it. <laughs> push through. Push through. Yeah. Push. Yeah. Push down and out and yeah. expel, <laughs> expel. So, yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people doing all kinds of nonsense. Right. Shall we move on to Agony Uncle, but not in a weird way? Give me it. What's the... Here we yeah, go. no jingle for this yet, but there will be at some point. Um, so, go for it. Have you got an Agony Uncle for this? So, if you've never listened to this podcast before, then... Thank you very much. Where you been? But this is where a listener will get in touch with something that's going on in their life at the moment. They might want some advice on from two esteemed members of the community um, okay. who aren't here. So, so I, me and Tom are doing I, it. I've got, I've got two. One very just because it just is honestly sounds like a horror film. My cat is genuinely trying to eat me. <laughs> she takes slowly deeper bites of my forearm every single day. Jesus Christ! That is yeah. Yeah, yeah. That just feels like because I've always envisioned a sort of like horror film where a man is getting sicker and sicker and his cat is slowly nibbling bits of him until he eventually eats him. Why do you like think that's... of this stuff, mate? Is this when you're I, I, is this when you're sitting down to write some time. jokes? Is this, yeah. is this... I mean, you don't know the dark, depraved depths of my mind. Clearly. But um but yeah, that that's quite how I don't really know what to do with that. I I'll probably get a different cat or or, cat. or punish it a bit more or you know, naughty step the cat. Hey, you know. Tom, you know what this is a gap in the market for cat chakras way out of line. <laughs> <laughs> that, that cat ra is absolutely yeah. all over the shop, mate. So, get hey, your got... get your get your cat to cat reiki. Look, have yeah. a look, see if it's available, and then when it comes back from the reiki, the cat reiki instructor, <laughs> then yeah. then it'll be right as rain, right as rain. Get the chakras no alone. Um, was that? Um, did you want to do another one? Or was, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. That, that was a more of a sort of just. I just found that so. Cat weird. Reiki yeah, done. Is, Next one. Cat Reiki. Boom. Okay. Stuck at work with an ex who oh. used used to cheat on me with his ex girlfriend, and another ex of his is, is starting Bill? too. Wait, wait is, this, is this from Bill and Melinda Gates? This one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Yeah. <laughs> from Melinda from, from an M yeah. fuming yeah. from a Gates Melinda um, Melinda absolutely fuming yeah. yeah. sorry can you read yeah. through it again because I, I got you off there okay. I had hey, to stuck at work with, with, it, with my ex okay. right you used to cheat on me with his girlfriend with his ex-girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend sorry yeah. and another ex of his is starting in the company too now Jesus so this guy Legend. is 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 got two exes and one who was cheating on him with was starting the company. That is what sort of, com- what sort of sex show. company is this? What sort of? <laughs> how is he? Yeah. How is he dating everyone? Um, right. How do, you, how do you handle close proximity to someone you've dated? Yeah, it's a very good question um, because I think the thing I'd always advise for when you're trying to get over someone is space. But you cannot. Got do no that. choice. Got no choice. Can't do it. Can't do it. So, no, no block and delete this time. It's uh, it's. What, what, what no, that's here? not that's not my mine is so what I do is I send them uh the YouTube clip for end of the road boys to men, then yeah. I block and report them for spam. Yeah. Um, for spam <laughs> <laughs> for lewd behavior. <laughs> yeah, I report them for hate crimes because yeah, yeah. because they broke my heart. So um yeah. that's what I do. But uh yeah, no, I with this one, it's tough. I don't know how It'd be interesting to know what the workplace is like, how often you have to work with this person. I, I would think say, we say office, office environment. I think this is maybe a good time to start looking for a new job. Don't leave the job. If you enjoy the job, don't leave it. But if you're not bothered about the job, then this might be a good excuse to go and do you, you deserve better than this working with your ex and stuff. Like that. And there are, there are blokes who are like that, who, who, yeah, will just constantly date people they work with and shag people that they work with and, I, I feel like he, there are uh, quite a lot of animosity is probably built up to up to this guy if he's you know if there are this many people he's affected in the company. Yeah. So so this is yeah, political this, strategy. You want to rally some people around you. This is yeah. So this is my other. If you don't want to do that, if you're happy in your job, but it's just him that's the problem. Is my other thing. Get him fired. Right. So yeah, collude with his new ex joining. Use her to your advantage, and yeah. say, look, mate. We both know this guy's got to go. It's too much. It's too much effort for us, right? So let's frame him for something. Um, oh, okay. Criminal activity from Ali Woods. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe uh, stealing office supplies. They'll be like, but he's working from home. I'll be like, well, mm. that's how we haven't caught him yet. Um, yeah, he comes in here at night, pulls <laughs> yeah, papers, steals stuff. On. Just say he was rude to the client and just make stuff up. And um, 
you know, when they question you, just start crying. And then uh, <laughs> this is really okay. going off the rails. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, just just like, double down. Just just get him fired, or achieve yeah. his become his superior and fire him. I'd say. I, I would I would like to apologise to all uh, Ali's exes. Um, <laughs> no longer working unem- with him. Unemployed, <laughs> unemployed. Yeah. People yeah. And not. Yeah. Do you want to be on the streets? That's why I say, <laughs> say to the yeah. they're very old me. Um, no, no, I, I, I'm fortunate enough not to work with any ex, ex girlfriends. Um, tell you what, don't get any girlfriends, don't get any exes. So then, uh, <laughs> um, and then, the and then the final, which is probably my, it's probably my final advice, is to buy the bullet and organize a chat with him. Make it in the day, not a drinks, not an evening thing, a lunch yeah. or even a Zoom call during and one afternoon, and just talk about how. It might be best if you avoid each other or how he feels about it and then tell him how you feel about it. And not with a purpose of like, we need to change everything. Just be like, look, if you could give me some space, that would be great. And then if he doesn't, if he doesn't appreciate that and doesn't do that, then frame him for racism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty safe Sexism, homophobia, any of them, just go for it. Um, just get him. The, the big three. But yeah, that's the thing though. Uh, if, if you could get a talk with them, try and get some things so it doesn't affect you as much. And I know that's not a very British thing to do, but to try and actually talk to them would be would be a good shout. And just explain. Say. Yeah, and with just explain how for you it'd be better if you guys could have some space and hopefully he respects that in the workplace. With regards to the other ex, I don't know. I think you could use that to your advantage, to be honest. Just Team up. Yeah, team I do up. think a team, I think up, team up would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah in some okay. way. Because that will unnerve him as well. Just see yeah. you two chatting, laughing. Yeah. Then that yeah. old one with the whispers. Yeah, exactly. Whisper, about, giggling. Yeah. Like, a, oh, my God, so true. Anyway, so he's watching. A little and then, oh, that yeah. was so good. Right, that's my advice. A little snap. Yeah, okay, do that, guys. Okay, well, that was Agni Uncle, but not in a weird way. Again, I'm going to a weird way. Thank you very much for sending in your life mails. And uh, next week we'll be doing it again. And if you have any updates after we've given you the advice, let us know. Messages. Best way to message us is AIDIFPOD, A I D I F P O D, on any social channels. And we will get back to you and read it out on the show because it's good to know how this advice works in real life because we have no idea. Yeah. So, on to fail mail. Now, I, I, I didn't get many in for this one. This is what I say. But the ones we do have. <laughs> Premium. <laughs> oh, good. It's quality of what I Just to let yeah. you know. So okay. this week for Fail Mail, and this is where we get you to send in your fails and your stories and embarrassments and uh, read them out. It's a catharsis thing also to have a laugh. Um, so uh, <laughs> so this week for Fail pain, Mail. Yeah, yeah laugh at your pain. So th- that was one of the early uh, editions of the name for this podcast. How about laugh at your pain pod? Um, yeah. So now it's probably a now it's probably a, a name for some mental health. Uh, for yeah, some podcast. like oh, we yeah. discuss how to get over trauma. Oh. It's really help. It's really helpful oh. and informative. Fuck yeah. off, mate. Yeah. Where's your Dave comedy Green's night? Yeah. Keep it to yourself. You know, <laughs> <Mental health. laughs> Dave Green's advice. Dave Green, Green. Green yeah. uh, Mental health. Keep it to yourself. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, obviously, <laughs> feel free to talk. Uh, but <laughs> so, um, do. Do. yeah. So this week's was uh, your biggest family secrets. I must say. Okay. Tom suggested this. I said to Tom, people have family secrets. Tom's like, yeah, they do. Because obviously in his family, they don't discuss like, things. They just buy their dog, no. dog a Fitbit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And a toothbrush. My family don't <laughs> have any secrets. They just shout at each other. Um, yeah. That's how it works. So, uh, but here we go. Right. So, okay. This is basically, this is going away from maybe the more embarrassing stuff to this is Juicy Goss. Okay. That my cousin's father... Is his yep. uncle, and his uncle is his father. We all know, but nobody talks about it. <laughs> wait, wait. My cousin's father is his uncle. Basically, yeah. Someone, someone's dad's dad's brother is actually yeah. his dad. So his brother clearly cheated on, cheated on the mum, cheated on, yeah, cheated with the mum, yeah. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not gonna keep lie. it in the family. We all just just carry on, carry on. No yeah. one says anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a few like that, but I'll I'll get back to those because they're a bit juicier. Um, there's a couple of, of uh, odd ones. My my cousin, and then they put brackets. Second cousin was exiled from the UK for being a drug dealer, which 
the fact that's a secret makes me think so what happened he's like yeah i'm going on holiday forever and just, yeah i'm gone yeah. yeah i'm going to move um what do you make of this tom we went skinny dipping as a family holiday the fact that you're saying that this is a family secret makes me think that it's something sinister and weird I would, if you haven't put it in what's your biggest family secret who suggests that as well? At what point? There's never been a point where I've been stood next to my dad and mum and been like, right, let's get naked. Should we get That's the kit never... off? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're... you're bit restricting, actually. You're, bit restricting. You're there in, like, the lake or whatever, shouting yeah. at your mum, don't be lame. <laughs> yeah, go on, get, it, get it off, mum. Don't be get more in. boring. Come on, get in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never... N- not been on the priority list, I will be honest. Um... Okay, so more a couple of more um, sexy ones. Um, yeah. <laughs> my mum had an affair with our pastor. Not all my siblings oh. know. Better off not knowing. Ooh. Ooh. And then it says hashtag trust issues, which is hoping I'll have more. Um, the pastor as well. The the man of the cloth. Like, what? come on. I know, but they're always the sneaky. Fucking shady, thing. shady, yeah. 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 Uh, my cousin's mother is adopted, and my cousin doesn't know it and thinks we're related. So... Yeah, it's okay. Sort of strange, but it's sort of he's yeah. The that's the, I mean at that point, family's family. You know what I mean? Like it's just because you're not related by blood, I think that's all right. Yeah, it's um, all right. The second last one. <laughs> My granddad stole the neighbor's cow and had it for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a rural. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> That's not coming from really East Yeah, that's not coming yeah. from Central Ends. Uh, yeah. That is funny, man. But I like that idea of as well, just like stealing a cat. Just what you're looking yeah. out the window, being like... Taking it back with you, just all. Oh, yeah. Nothing to see here. Into the shed we go. <laughs> she looks she looks tasty. And then just... Oh, and then, and then them coming over. Oh, yeah, I'm Gary. Do you see um, you see Daisy anywhere? You see that cow? No. And he's like having steak, no. like, hmm. No. I don't think I have to be honest, yeah. mate. <laughs> sort of got some kind of... Cow skin jacket, yeah, exactly. <laughs> horns like drinking out of like a yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a bell that says Daisy on the on the wall. Like, I don't, I'll, I'll look out for it though, pal. I'll have a look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come out on the search party. Yeah. Okay. Final one. Mum. Oh, this is from friend of the show, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, hang on. I, I, I don't. Okay, I, I don't want to say the name actually because yeah, it's, don't, 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 yeah. so friend of the show, but anyway, uh, a repeated listener who who. Thank you for your messages into fail mail. <laughs> Mum cheated on dad nine months before I was born. <laughs> when, when, oh. I, when I discovered oh. this, when I discovered this and questioned her about it, she said, both me and that guy have beautiful blue eyes and you don't. So you definitely from your dad. <laughs> Not entirely sure that that works a hundred percent. Uh, how did she find out how did they find out about it as well what did the mum go what's your best shag and then she was like i was probably about i was i was with your dad at the time probably about nine months before you were born actually this bloke jose I'll, I'll he's be, absolutely fabulous I'll, I'll be i'll be doing the old online dna nick one of your dad's hairs yeah to be honest. good Just, shout uh, that becomes yeah. a life man that becomes ugly uncle not in a weird way yeah um, also, I love that, that okay. the mum just saying that as well. <laughs> well, we, me and my lover both had these beautiful blue eyes and you've got weird, ugly ones. So they're definitely your parents. Right. Can't be me. Can't be me or the sexy man I banged. So. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. I actually deal it. with fit men and hmm, yeah. you're not quite. Um, yeah. But thank you very much to everyone who sent their farewell in. Some juicy gossip there. And so we really appreciate it. And we'll have another one next week. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Also, guys, um, if you want a bonus episode of All I Do Is Fail, please subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, you support us during this strange and wonderful times, uh, but you would be really helping us out if you did. And we produce bonus content every Tuesday if you do mm. subscribe. So mm. that's good. Patreon.com uh, slash AdivPod. And just for $5 a month, you'll get an extra episode every week. Five dollars a month, guys. Uh, right, guys. Thank you to uh, everyone I've who got... does support us, by the way. Already, yeah, we still we love you. haven't figured out a name for the for the Patreon gang, but it's coming. Yeah, just the Patreon, the bonus episode lot, the oh, real, yeah. just real fans. Yeah. The, the bonus episode lot. How'd you come up with that one, Tom? You're such a creative genius. <laughs> <laughs> just off the spot, firing. Yeah, exactly. All all yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. thank you very much for listening to another episode of All I Do Is Fail. I've been Ali Woods. You can find me at any social medias, Tom. 
You can find me at all good social media platforms. Thank you everyone for supporting the sketches and everything. It's been great. No, uh, and we will be back gigging live voxel comedy every tuesday every tuesday from the 18th so get your tickets voxelcomedyclub.com and also we'll be back next week with another episode for you lucky things thank you very much for listening i've been Annie Woods. he's been tom Elwes. bye 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 <laughs>